Chapter 691, Uyang Huani U, 3. Words of concern were spoken by Uyang Huani U, Shen Yang Xiao slightly raised her eyebrows, Uyang Huani U is speaking with such a caring tone, yet why do I feel something is wrong when I listen to it? In fact, when you were still at Holy Roland School, I was eager to meet you, I wanted to see what kind of person in this world would dare to risk being shunned and embark the warlock path. Uyang Huani U looked at Shen Yang Xiao with emotions and his eyes were filled with relief. The people of the Radiance Continent, having gone through previous catastrophes, have a great prejudice against the warlocks, and you should also see that in the entire Long Xuan Empire, only the Holy Roland School has a warlock branch, yet, even so, the warlock branch has not ushered in students for many years. Did you know how excited I was when I learned that there was a student who decided to be a warlock on this continent, I thought, there are still people who are unaffected by the secular world. Good or bad has nothing to do with the profession, it's just the individual. The nightmares that those warlocks brought to people were not related to the profession of the warlock itself. Shen Yang Xiao didn't know why Ui Ang Huan Yu mentioned this matter so suddenly. Good and bad are just the result of people's actions and nothing else. But I believe that after entering the barren land, you should be able to perceive the impact of your warlock profession on you. Uyang Huani U looked at Shen Yang Xiao, then slowly continued, the winners of the school tournament will all be able to obtain a city in the barren land, and when rebuilding the city, they will receive strong support from the Long Xuan Empire. But the emperor seems to have given nothing to you when you arrived. You should know exactly what this means. Shen Yang Xiao frowned slightly. The emperor's harsh treatment had long been very clear to her. However, she did not care. The city she had created by herself was truly hers alone. She did not need to owe anyone a favor. The emperor had his own reasons for his actions. How can we talk about this matter? Shen Yang Xiao was feeling impatient, Uyang Huan Yu's confusing speech was really making her very puzzled. Yeah, the supremacy of the throne. Uyang Huan Yu chuckled loudly, it seemed that he had felt the impatience of Shen Yang Xiao. So he stopped his own narration and said, you know these things well, I don't have to say more about it. In fact, I came to the barren land because of the invitation of the emperor. Invitation of the emperor? Shen Yang Xiao actually froze for a bit. The emperor actually invited Uyang Huan Yu to go to the barren land? I have heard that the emperor sent a special envoy to the barren land before and they are now in the rising sun city. The envoy's team has Prince Long Yue and state preceptor Pei Yuan, and a few months ago, the emperor received a handwritten letter that said that the state preceptor and the prince wanted to live here for a period of time. The emperor seemed to feel uncomfortable, and for this reason, he made me pay you a visit. After all, he thought that between you, as a student of Holy Roland School and me, as the dean, there should be some kind of friendship. Uyang Huan Yu said the reason why he had come to the barren land without any concealment. However, his words were hinting about the emperor's concerns. It had been more than two months since the team of the special envoy entered the barren land. Pei Yuan and Long Yui had been at the Rising Sun City for months already. Even if there were an earnest letter, the emperor in the imperial capital was probably already somewhat skeptical. Chapter 692, Uyang Huan Yu, 4. However, he was very cautious. He did not send any more men to check the situation out. Instead, he made a very smart choice, sending the dean of Shen Yang Xiao's former school. Uyang Huan Yu was not only her former dean but also a powerful magician who held the respect of various elites that had been cultivated in the Holy Roland School for many years. He also had a highly respected position in the Long Xuan Empire and his manner was steady. He had always been revered by others. Asking such a person to go to the barren land, the emperor could be considered wise. Even if Shen Yang Xiao really had any sinister thoughts, she would never start with Ui Ang Huan Yu. Holy Roland School had been established for a thousand years, and Ui Ang Huan Yu had been dean of the Holy Roland School for almost a hundred years. A strong man like him was no longer restricted by a hundred years of age. His longevity had led him to train numerous talents over the years. These elites from the Holy Roland School were scattered throughout the Long Xuan Empire. They had absolute respect and love for Uyang Huan Yu. If Shen Yang Xiao made a move against Uyang Huan Yu, 
it would certainly lead to the revenge of those desperate elites. On the other hand, the emperor was likely to think that Shen Yang Xiao, like those people, also respected Uyang Huanyu, so he had made this decision. Unfortunately, Shen Yang Xiao was an exception. Of course, she wouldn't be provoking Uyang Huanyu. After all, the background of this person was really too mysterious. She had always been reluctant to believe that his identity was only as simple as it seemed on the surface. Could a mere dean of a school actually extend his influence to the land of Lan Yu dynasty? Wasn't that too ridiculous? Shen Yang Xiao smirked inwardly, but on the surface, she was very casual. The state preceptor Pei Yuan and Prince Long Yu are now in my rising sun city as distinguished guests. I don't know what the emperor wants the dean to say to them. Just a few words of concern. You know that the emperor only has Prince Long Yu, this one son. Naturally, he attaches great importance to him. Long Yu rarely left the imperial capital. But this time, he lived in the rising sun city for more than two months already, but he still did not return. It's natural for the emperor to miss him. Uyang Huanyu's words were rigorous as if it would really be just a greeting from a father who missed his son. However, Shen Yangxia was not stupid enough to believe these hypocritical words. Greetings. Huh? I'm afraid that the emperor has begun to suspect that his son is under house arrest by me, but he's suffering from having no evidence. So he allowed Uyang Huanyu to check the actual situation. Oh, is that so? Shen Yang Xiao secretly clenched her fist. Although Pei Yuan and Long Yu I had a loose attitude now, she could not guarantee that they would not tell the truth to Uyang Huanyu. After all, they were really under house arrest. Pei Yuan's compromise before was simply because she had forced him into a situation with no alternatives. If they see Uyang Huanyu at this time, I wonder if they will have a different move. However, if she did not allow Yang Huanyu to see them, it meant indirectly confirming the emperor's speculation. For now, the rising sun city was not yet completed. If the emperor wanted to make a move against her, although she could resist and take Long Yu Wei hostage, there was still Shen Feng in the faraway imperial capital. Of course, I'll just say a few words. If the state preceptor Pei Yuan and the prince like, they can continue to live here. Uyang Huanyu said. Then later, I'll take the dean to see them both. Shen Yang Xiao finally decided to let Uyang Huanyu meet with Pei Yuan and the prince. But when the time came, she must be prepared just in case something not in her favor would really happen. Chapter 693, Uyang Huanyu, 5. Okay, I'm not in a hurry. Uyang Huanyu smiled and seemed to be in no hurry to see Pei Yuan and Long Yu. Shen Yang Xiao did not say anything. But Uyang Huanyu seemed to have something to say to her. In principle, you were a student from Holy Roland School and I was your dean. I am sorry for the situations you have suffered. If there is anything I can help you with, you can tell me. Although these old bones of mine are not much of a big deal, they can still block the wind and rain for my student. Uyang Huanyu's tone suddenly became milder, and he looked at Shen Yang Xiao with pity. The reason why I accepted the invitation of the emperor was not because of the state preceptor Pei Yuan and Prince Long Yue, but because I heard about the injustices that you suffered. Even if you are a warlock, you were a student of my Holy Roland School. You won the school tournament honest and above board. Why do you need to endure this injustice? I can't let the students of my Holy Roland School be bullied. Shen Yang Xiao looked at Uyang Huanyu who was spouting words of sympathy, and she found out that she really could not see through this old fox. When he said these words, his eyes held incomparable sincerity and she couldn't find the slightest false feelings in it, as if he were really angered by the injustices she had suffered. For a moment, Shen Yang Xiao even suspected that the person sitting in front of him was not Uyang Huanyu at all, but Yun Qi who had disguised himself. I would like to thank the dean for his concern. I'm actually quite good. Shen Yang Xiao lowered his head. Whether it was Uyang Huanyu's words or the expression on his face, she could not find any trace of falseness. If not for her eavesdropping that night, Shen Yang Xiao would have been very likely to believe Uyang Huanyu. But now, she only thought that Uyang Huanyu was really frightening. He could hypocritically show affection like this and it was difficult to tell if he was sincere or not. He was indeed too dangerous. Such a person could often manipulate people's hearts using words, 
If one paid too little attention, one would be reduced to a mere piece on his fingertips. Don't be so polite. I know you're not familiar with me. We probably haven't seen each other at Holy Roland School. I may seem hypocritical to you, but it's not because of who you are or because of your status, but because you come from Holy Roland School that I would care like this. Even if I have never seen you before, you have worn the badge of the Holy Roland School, which means that you're a part of Holy Roland School and I as the Dean of Holy Roland School, naturally do not want to see my children being wronged. Uyang Huani U sighed a little and said nothing more. It could be said that his words were quite stirring. Who did not want to have this kind of unity in their own place? Even if they had already left, they would still be recognized. This sense of honor could indeed stir people's emotion in an instant. Uyang Huani U was very smart to put Shen Yang Xiao and others in the same position. His intentions seemed to be pure, but it actually was a deeper step of temptation. How could Shen Yang Xiao not know Uyang Huani U's intentions? Uyang Huani U had obviously felt her alienation, and he was not anxious to narrow the distance between them both. Instead, he retreated in order to advance and put her together with all of his students. She would then gradually disperse her suspicions and naturally take his bait. Shen Yang Xiao secretly narrowed her eyes. She finally understood why Yun Qi would go to Uyang Huani U at that time. Shen Yang Xiao had seen a lot of people in her past life with the same mind as Uyang Huani U. No one would be able to tell that he was scheming something. Chapter 694, Uyang Huani U. 6. The Dean doesn't need to worry too much. Shen Yang Xiao knew that she couldn't just casually pick up words at this time. Uyang Huani U's scheming was too deep, a little carelessness and the conversation would shift to a strange topic. Oh, you came from the Holy Roland School. How can you say that I don't need to worry? If you need any help in the barren land, I will lend you a helping hand. Uyang Huani U looked as usual but his heart was quite marveled. Shen Yang Xiao's mind was very calm, he was very earnest, yet he did not see her showing any gratitude. Warlock is not an easy profession. The warlocks of the Radiance continent suffered a lot of persecution, and many of them were innocent. Fortunately, some of them escaped, but unfortunately, with the situation of the Radiance continent today, they could not reveal their identity before the people at the moment. Uyang Huani U's face had a look of regret as he said the matter about the warlocks. Now that you're standing up where the wind and the waves are the fiercest, the pressure on you is not small. I think the warlocks hidden in the shadows must be proud of you. If you could one day gather these poor people and let them see the sky again, it would be a wonderful thing. Gather the warlocks. Shen Yang Xiao frowned slightly. Uyang Huani U's words revealed a message. It was clear that in addition to Yan Qi, he also knew other warlocks. He said this much to her today, was it because he wanted her to get in contact with the other warlocks? She was willing to let the warlocks see the light of the day again, but definitely not the people who were cooperating with Ui and Huani U. It was too dangerous to ask the tiger for its skin. I'm just a little kid, how could I bear such a heavy responsibility? The dean thinks too highly of me. Shen Yang Xiao skillfully deflected his words. Uyang Huani U just smiled and looked at Shen Yang Xiao before he said, You're too humble. I have several warlock friends who are very excited after learning about your accomplishments. They have been wanting to find time to meet with you. It's a pity that you already left the Holy Roland School after the school tournament, and soon afterward went to the Barren Land so they have been unable to find such opportunities. Uyang Huani U's friends? Shen Yang Xiao immediately thought of the mysterious person that certain night. That man seemed to recognize Yan Shi. Could he also be a warlock? If so, then that man wanted to meet with her, only to carry out their previous plans to draw her on their side. Uyang Huani U was really clever. He used the warlock's current situation as a starting point to express his compassion and showed that he liked to help the warlocks. He did not mention anything else, as if he really wanted to help the warlocks return to the top. Unfortunately, Shen Yang Xiao did not believe him in the slightest. She believed that Yan Qi was looking forward to the return of the warlocks, but Uyang Huani U was not as sincere as Yan Qi. His intentions were certainly not good, is it? It's a pity. It's just that the construction of the Rising Sun City is in a critical period. I can't get out of here for a time. If I have a chance to meet them in the future, then I will. 
Chen Yang Xiao was very calm postponing this issue. She did not want to have too much involvement with Ui Ang Huan Yu. All right, then I'll come to you again. Ui Ang Huan Yu did not keep pressing and stop the discussion promptly. Ui Ang Huan Yu quieted down, and Chen Yang Xiao would naturally say nothing to him. A pair of young and old people sat in the room in silence. Chen Yang Xiao had no choice but to get up. I'll go and ask the state preceptor Pei Yuan and Prince Long Yue to come over. The dean is, after all, under the order of the emperor, and must first complete the matter at hand. Chapter 695 If I am the emperor, 1. In the rising sun city, Pei Yuan and Long Yue were standing in front of a building which was under construction. They were observing the busy workers. Pei Yuan would occasionally step forward to help the workers while Long Yue stood by the side, watching the people working hard, building their own home. Before coming to the rising sun city, Long Yue used to be a pampered prince who received the most orthodox education of the imperial family. Every day, he learned about ancient and modern history. He knew how the previous emperors controlled the Long Xuan Empire understood how to control the court officials, and knew how to balance the power. Yet, it was his first time to personally be in contact with the citizens at the bottom of the Long Xuan Empire. The people and the things that he would normally not hear were now before him. State Preceptor, the citizens of the Rising Sun City are not as uncivilized as Father said, they are very courteous and kind-hearted. During the first two months of Long Yue's interaction with them, he slowly became fond of this group of ordinary people. Unlike most of the people he encountered, they did not fawn or even flatter him, and they also did not blindly obey him, but they were very concerned about his life. Every evening after these busy people stopped working, they would gather around to rest and chat. From their mouths, Long Yu I learned more about them and heard a lot of adventures the mercenaries had faced. He gradually forgot his identity and began to laugh like a normal person among the people here. But the ugly demons would still cautiously retreat when passing him by. It seemed that they knew that the newcomers still couldn't fully accept their identity. However, neither the people nor the demons here had harmed Long Yue and Pei Yuan. Looking at the demons constantly transporting various materials to various places in the city, Long Yue's fear slowly faded as he got accustomed to the situation. He felt that these silly demons were actually very cute. Uncivilized? The civilians here are civilized. They are never barbaric. They are very forbearing and they fear the imperial power. Your Highness and His Majesty might not understand these ordinary people. In fact, they are very simple. As long as they can eat and drink they'll already be satisfied. They don't have high ambition, and they don't even scheme. Even if they are busy every day, they are still happy. Pei Yuan's eyes were gentle. The status of his origin was not noble. He had only managed to get to his current position by relying on his own strength to rise up. Compared to the other members of the imperial family, Pei Yuan understood the ordinary people better. He knew that the education the emperor gave to Long Yue was inadequate in certain places. However, their days in the rising sun city had gradually filled up those lacking places. In this regard, Pei Yuan did not know whether this was good or bad. Although Shen Yang Xiao restricted their freedom, in return she gave Long Yue a great opportunity to experience living with the ordinary people and experiencing what his future citizens felt. All the previous emperors were ruthless. Even the current emperor was no exception. Often when he made a decision, he would mostly ignore the existence of his citizens, even when Pei Yuan would persuade him sometimes, it was still useless. Looking at the changes in Long Yue's thinking, Pei Yuan's heart was slightly happy. Father always told me that the citizens were uncivilized, they were greedy and lazy and impolite. I used to believe father's words, but this time, I have some doubts. State Preceptor Pei Yuan, do you think that the citizens of the Long Xuan Empire are similar to this adorable people of the Rising Sun City? Long Yue hadn't fully grown yet, hence, his thought was still somewhat naive. The same. Pei Yuan smiled. Chapter 696 If I am the Emperor, too. What about the demons? Until now, I have heard that the demons are extremely cruel creatures. But there are a lot of demons in the Rising Sun City, and they have never attacked me. Furthermore, just yesterday, Big Brother Jialan gave me a lot of food and it was all delicious. 
Long Yu I was very confused. During this period of time, what he was experiencing was completely different from his previous knowledge. Such deep contrast made him very puzzled and full of doubts. Pei Yuan was stunned for a moment. He did not know how to answer this question. The demons in the Rising Sun City were the most peculiar group of demons he had ever seen. They had never attacked nor eaten any humans. If he had not seen a demon eating humans before, he might also have the same question as Long Yui. But now he was hesitating again. He did not know what exactly Shen Yang Xiao did, that she actually managed to make these vicious demons become gentle and friendly. He looked at this harmonious scene of humans and demons living together. His previous concerns and suspicions gradually disappeared. Could it be that demons and humans can really coexist? It's different. Shen Yang Xiao's voice came like a surprise. Pei Yuan and Long Yu immediately turned their heads around and saw Shen Yang Xiao walking toward them. During their days in the Rising Sun City, they had rarely met Shen Yang Xiao as if she had forgotten their existence. It seemed like what they were doing every day was nothing to be concerned of. Shen Yang Xiao. After Long Yu saw Shen Yang Xiao, his eyes seemed to be pleasantly surprised, but his eyes narrowed as he examined this charming little girl. His handsome face had become a bit flushed. Shen Yang Xiao looked at this young prince before she looked at the somewhat cautious Pei Yuan. She smiled and said, the demons outside and the demons in the rising sun city are different. If you dare to hang out with the demons outside, then the next second, you'll be swallowed whole by them. Oh, Long Yu I was stunned. The stiffness of Long Yu I's face made Shen Yang Xiao feel very funny. She had never seen a prince like Long Yu I. Whenever she saw him, this little guy always had a shy look. People could not help but laugh. The vast majority of the demons on the Radiance continent are feeding on humans. But I believe that one day, they will be like the demons of the Rising Sun City and will no longer be interested in eating human beings. With the supply of dark elements, if the demons should still prefer to devour human organs, then they definitely had bizet taste. One day, the demons have been eating humans for thousands of years, how can it easily change? Pei Yuan did not believe Shen Yang Xiao's remarks, but in front of your eyes, isn't there a group of demons that have changed? Shen Yang Xiao pointed at the lower demons carrying stones materials on their backs as she smiled. Pei Yuan frowned a little. The demons of the rising sun city were absolutely the rarest kind of demons in the world. Why does the city lord come to us today? Do you want to discuss with us the problem of demons eating humanity? Shen Yang Xiao shrugged her shoulders. With Pei Yuan's sense of justice, he would not be able to forget Shen Yang Xiao's actions against them in a day or two. Although he could already talk with laughter about the higher demons in the same city. Every time he saw her, he would definitely have an unhappy face. The Emperor sent people to visit you. I came here to call you. The Emperor sent people to visit us. Who is the other person? Pei Yuan asked. Holy Roland School's Dean. Uyang Huani U. Chapter 697. If I am the Emperor. 3. So it's him. Wait until you meet him with me. But what you should say and what you shall do, you should be very clear about that, state preceptor. Shen Yang Xiao showed a treacherous smile. Pei Yuan coldly harumphed. Don't worry, I naturally know what to say. There are eight mythological beasts in this city. Even if it was Uyang Huani U, Pei Yuan did not dare to risk revealing any news. State preceptor is a smart person. I like smart people. Shen Yang Xiao was very satisfied with his answer. Please, over there. Shen Yang Xiao smiled. Pei Yuan looked at her with the corner of his eyes before walking forward. Long Yue followed him. However, when he passed by the side of Shen Yang Xiao, he suddenly stopped and he looked at Shen Yang Xiao's little face. Shen Yang Xiao, the demons of the Radiance Continent, Will there really be a day when they can peacefully live with mankind? Shen Yang Xiao was slightly surprised. She did not think Long Yu I would ask her such a question. Her previous answer was only to respond to a child's curiosity. But Long Yu I's expression was a bit serious right now. It seemed that he was really thinking about Shen Yang Xiao's words. Maybe there will be. But when the demons decide to lay down the butcher's knife, 
it is not known whether humans can accept them. Some hatreds and fears have been ingrained in human hearts and can't be raised overnight. But I am looking forward to that day. Demons all over the land, which meant that Xu could recover his strength anywhere and anytime. This was simply Shen Yang Xiao's dream. Long Yu I was silent for a moment as he seriously watched Shen Yang Xiao. In the future, if I am the emperor, I will certainly let people slowly accept the demons. Because of her expectations, he was willing to give it a go, and in his opinion, the demons and human beings were not unable to coexist in harmony. The rising city was the best example. Looking at the resolute Long Yue, Shen Yang Xiao chuckled loudly. The embarrassed little prince was really cute and more interesting than his old man. Oh, then I will wait for the day when you become the emperor. I hope under your control. The Long Xuan Empire will be a strong country filled with wealthy people. It is best if you can fill the state treasury with gold coins to the point of exploding, I will then bound to ruthlessly fish it all with one stroke. Um. Long Yuai nodded his head firmly and set a lofty ambition for the future when he was the emperor. He did not know that someone who was spouting encouraging words had extremely wretched thoughts. Pei Yuan and Long Yuai met with Ui and Huan Yu, Shen Yang Xiao. Rather than making Uyang Huani U suspicious, consciously did not stay in the room. She believed that Pei Yuan would not joke about the safety of Long Yue. Naturally, she did not have to worry that Pei Yuan would say something he shouldn't be saying. After an hour or so, Pei Yuan and Long Yue came out of the room. Pei Yuan looked at Shen Yang Xiao with profound meaning. Shen Yang Xiao did not say anything and he left with Long Yue in the room. Uyang Huani Yu smiled and looked at Shen Yang Xiao. It seems that the state preceptor and his royal highness are in a very good condition in the rising sun city. This way I can go back and report to the emperor. It's been hard for the dean. Shen Yang Xiao politely said. I don't know when the dean will depart, I'd better arrange for people to prepare. The distance from Long Xuan Empire to the rising sun city is not that small. I remember the dean came alone riding only a horse. Do you want me to prepare a carriage for you? Shen Yang Xiao said very politely, but in fact, she was pointing to the door for him to get lost. She really didn't want a sly old fox staying in her territory for too long. Ghost knew what kind of medicine he was selling. Chapter 698, A Dreadful Conspiracy, 1. Uyang Huani Yu unexpectedly did not stay any longer. After Shen Yang Xiao's words intended to turn visitors out, he left and went straight away. Shen Yang Xiao also specifically let people give Uyang Huani Yu some dry food. As for other food, I'm sorry but the rising sun city is still being rebuilt and the city is still poor. Therefore, please just take this food and go. Shen Yang Xiao watched as Uyang Huani Yu rode away with his white horse and breathed a sigh of relief. It had to be said that talking to that old fox was really tiring. After a short time. She felt that the casualty of her brain cells was great. This night, she would resolutely stew a pig's brain to properly make up for the loss. However, Shen Yang Xiao did not know that Uyang Huan Yu, who had just left the rising sun city, did not follow the original road to return but instead, he traveled toward a mountain in the south, gradually riding away from the range of the rising sun city. The demons everywhere were moving. The scent of humanity gave them a huge temptation. The demons that were hiding in the darkness and waiting for the chance to make their move rushed toward the white horse Uyang Huan Yu was riding. Uyang Huan Yu slightly looked up and watched the several dark shadows pouncing on himself. His old right hand gently waved, and several demons turned into black powder, dispersing with the wind in an instant. If someone witnessed this scene, they probably would be utterly shocked that their jaws would fall to the ground, because Uyang Huan Yu did not have a wand in his hands. There was no magical fluctuation in the palm of his hand either. But just like this, several lower demons had become one heap of powder. Oh, every time I see you make a shot, there is always a sense of horror. After the chaos, a man wearing a black robe appeared quietly. He stood ten steps away from Uyang Huan Yu. Under his foot were a bunch of cruelly mutilated demons. Behind the man in the black robe, corpses were lying on the ground, the bodies of thousands of lower demons disorderly lay across the ground. Their deaths seemed extremely miserable. Uyang Huan Yu looked at the corpses lying on the ground, 
his brows slightly wrinkled. The man in the black robe seemed to perceive Uyang Huani Wu's dissatisfaction and quickly explained, You've been in the Rising Sun City for quite a long time. These demons discovered my smell then chased after me. You know, I still needed to wait for you, so I just conveniently cleaned them up. Uyang Huani Wu's brows didn't ease up and he said somewhat coldly, You, making such movements. If you're discovered, you deserve it. The man in black robes shrugged, in the eastern region of the barren land, aside from the rising sun city, where else would there be a living person? What is the progress on your side by the way? Is the little warlock willing to cooperate with us? This black robed man was the same person Shen Yang Xiao saw that night in Uyang Huani Wu's room. Uyang Huani Wu shook his head and said, the disciple who was taught by Yun Shi was even more stubborn than him. I reasoned with emotion and talked with her for a long time. The little girl just blocked me off. Oh, another one who's not amenable to reason? The man in black robes sneered and his eyes flashed with a hint of murderous intentions. We can't use it. Then it's better. No hurry. Uyang Huani Wu took a look at him and then looked in the direction of the rising sun city. This little girl's background in Long Xuan Empire is not low, and she's already a senior warlock at such a young age. Even the three of you are not comparable to her. This time, she was somewhat resistant, but she is not unshakable. She was different from Yun Qi. Even if I lose Yun Qi, at least there's you and him. But the talent of this little girl on the warlock profession is unparalleled. If it is carefully cultivated, over time, it will surpass the cultivation of several of you. Chapter 699, A Dreadful Conspiracy, 2. Then what? You said not to make a move against Yun Shi, and now we also can't touch his apprentice? The black-robed man sneered. I didn't say we can't touch her, but it all depends on the right timing. Although she is now constrained by the Long Xuan Empire's emperor, she's far away from Long Xuan Empire and stays in the barren land. She feels no pressure and naturally will not ask for anything. Plus, the construction of the Rising Sun City is already quite a large-scale affair. Now she does not have any weaknesses at all. Uyang Huani Wu carefully analyzed the current situation of Shen Yang Xiao. If Shen Yang Xiao's talent were ordinary, the man in black robe could kill her as he liked. However, the talent of this little girl was truly astonishing. Such existence that goes against heaven's will had not been seen by him for a very long time. It would be a pity if it were destroyed at this time. What do you mean? Since she has no weaknesses and she has not asked for anything. We will let her have weaknesses. Once she suffers from excessive pressure, she will certainly be unable to bear it. At the same time, I will come and save her from water and fire, then I'll try to rope her in once again. When conditions are right, success will follow naturally. Uyang Huani Wu's amiable face couldn't be seen with a trace of meanness, but every word of his let people feel frightened. Break her wings. Then she can only stay in the cage. The man in the black robe looked at Uyang Huani Wu's face of righteousness and issued a low laugh. Uyang Huani Wu is really worthy to be the Radiance Continent's number one hypocrite. If your students see what you are like today, I'm afraid they will be surprised. Their beloved Dean, in private, can come up with such a vicious scheme and manipulate his student. Uyang Huani Wu did not show the slightest anger, but he looked at the man in black robe. With how I am in the world, how can others know? Anyway, what is your progress on that side? I've heard that the number two in the sun graveyard had been lost. What's going on? When the word number two was mentioned, the laughter of the man in the black robe stopped suddenly. He stared at Uyang Huani Wu with a gloomy face and gritted his teeth. That group of idiots were useless, they actually put number two on the eradication of those failed products. The result. The eradication was not completed and the number two was lost. I am now sending someone to check the whereabouts of number two. Waste. Uyang Huani Wu took a deep breath. How can the second to tenth experimental products be released at will? What exactly does that group of waste think? These nine experimental products cost us much effort. We actually lost one in this way. This kind of idiot is not necessary anymore. I have already dealt with them all and the experimental bases at the sun graveyard have all been destroyed? The man in black robes said, the most important thing now is to recover number two. Among the nine experimental items, only number two and number four are the most stable. It is not something we can afford to lose at this time. 
Uyang Huani Wu's tone changed and became particularly cautious. What happened to number four? I have added more staff on number four's side. I don't allow number four to leave the base. There is no problem for the time being. The other seven experimental bodies have been properly settled and no such thing will happen. The man in the black robe was depressed. Long Xi'an Empire was his responsibility, but in his range, he actually lost the most valuable experimental body, which was simply an insult to him. It would be better to add more manpower to find the whereabouts of number two. We can't let other people find out about his speciality. And immediately after you go back, let them destroy all the failed products. I don't want to see this happen again. Chapter 700 a dreadful conspiracy, 3. I will. The man in the black robe gritted his teeth. Very well, then you are going to accompany me to magical fantasy city now. Uyang Huani Wu nodded and reluctantly accepted the promise of the man in black robes. Magical fantasy city? What are you going to do there? The man in a black robe gave a slight glimpse. He said that in Lan Yu dynasty, he discovered a new experimental body that met the requirements. In the next few days, he will take the new experimental body into the magical fantasy city. You should go to the city with me and also see whether the person he selected can become the eleventh experimental body. Uyang Huani Wu said. Oh, the man in the black robes smiled a little. New experimental body, huh? I don't know what it looks like, but it was a pity that number one was damaged. Otherwise, the strength of number one today should be the best among these experimental products. Unfortunately, I have never seen a perfect physique that fits all the conditions. That would practically be a work of God. There was a look of fascination on the black robed man's face. Uyang Huani Wu frowned slightly. Don't mention the matter about the number one experimental body again. The consequences of the destruction of number one that year are very serious. If not for the last minute problems, I believe our experiment would have been successful. The man in the black robe restrained his expression and shrunk himself in his black robe. The issue of the first experimental body had always been a taboo, with the exception of a few people, other people in the organization did not even know that there was an experimental body number one. The loss was due to the fact that at the time, the experimental body of number one was undergoing the final step of integration, but in the process of the final step of integration, there was a huge accident. Not only was the experimental body of number one completely destroyed, but the key to the final fusion had also been destroyed. It was the biggest disaster in history and it would never be remedied. Even Yang Huani Wu was also unwilling to mention the things that happened at that time. I won't mention it again. I just expect that the person he had chosen will not disappoint us. The man in black robes muttered. Anyway, even if there is no new candidate, I will go to Magical Fantasy City. Uyang Huani Wu's mouth revealed a good smile. Oh. Why? Before we break the little guy's wings, we must first destroy her favorite toy. The destruction of the Rising Sun City will bring a huge blow to Shen Yang Xiao. Without the Rising Sun City, she will not be able to stand in the Barren Land. She can only leave the Barren Land and return to Long Xi'an Empire. Just how much discussion and contempt will her identity as a warlock bring her there? Even if her mind is already mature. I'm afraid she still cannot face those harsh voices. Uyang Huani Wu was slightly looking up, looking in the direction of the rising sun city. His eyes were shining with a hint of excitement. He wanted to see how desperate the proud little guy would be when she fell from the clouds. Stars were the most beautiful at the moment of destruction. The black robed man looked at Uyang Huani Wu in surprise. Uyang Huani Wu's words are extremely creepy. You want to force her into a dead end? Uyang Huani Wu said with a chuckle put her to death to be born later. I just want her to take the path she should really take. The warlock will never be suitable to stand under the sun. Her talent, her abilities, only under my hands can she reach the peak. It's a shame to just put it here. Uyang Huani Wu's eyes flashed with a glimmer of frenzy, and his face right now was the exact opposite of before. It was brimming with madness. 